Okay, let's continue the series of reviews. Today we have string path modifier in line. To begin with, let's create a random shape with fill. Press Add Trim Path. This modifier has four settings. The first two are start and end. They are responsible for cropping the shape. The first point is considered as the beginning. You can change it by pressing Convert to Bezier in the shape settings. After you select needed point, right-click and choose Mask and Shape Path. Set first vertex. Also, you can change the cropping direction by switching the icons in the path group. The next set is offset. It shifts the parameters related to the center. It's convenient for adding animation. I'll show it later. The following set is trim multiple shapes. Let's duplicate the shape in the same layer to demonstrate it. The simultaneously set applies all the settings to all shapes at one time. But if you select individually, it applies these settings to every shape in turn. I often use this modifier along with repeater to make the flash effect. To do this, let's create a circle of lines with repeater and apply trim path. Firstly, set start and end to 0, move further on the timeline and change the values to 100. Then you slightly shift the start keyframes forward. Voila! This modifier is also used for a nice appearance of outline illustrations. You can just animate the start value to do this. Well, of course, you can animate a loader. First of all, add start and end animations to the circle. And then let's change offset, for example, to 1x. Now you can have fun with changing speed in the graph editor. I hope this modifier has become clearer to you. Thank you for following and your likes. See ya!